because it's designed as an espresso machine to dispense water at exactly 93 degrees at 9 bars of pressure. So what that does is it emulsifies coffee with water, alright? So it gives you a really nice cup of coffee with a higher concentration of coffee inside, better known as an espresso. So, uh, as an espresso machine, there are two things called a group head. The, there's a group head here, another group head. So these are called a twin group head or a double group head or a two group head. And on the group head, there's a little handle called the porta filter. So what is this porta filter? It's a portable filter, exactly what you see. So it comes with a handle and a basket, right? So this basket, what I need to do with this basket is to give it a really nice clean wipe to make sure it's free of residue. If you notice, there's a mesh underneath it that's to prevent the grounds from going through to entering your cup. So we want your cup of coffee to be really clean, free of grounds to make sure that there's no residue in any of the cups, all right? So, in coffee, we want to grind fresh. We believe in G-O-D. What is G-O-D? What is G-O-D? G-O-D? <laughs> yeah, not oh. enough coffee, obviously, these yeah, people. Okay. G-O-D is <laughs> grind on demand, okay? Not what you think, okay? Grind on demand. So what do you mean by grind on demand? Grind on demand mean, means as and when we want coffee, we grind it there and then, right? We do not use pre-ground because pre-ground means all the ground coffee is already stale. It releases all the volatile aromatics and it's oxidized in the air and it's gone. So what this does is it leaves the volatile aromatics, what tastes good, what feels good, what smells good in the coffee, right? Locked in and sealed until it's ready to the ground. So if you notice, Right? Smell this. Smell this. Come, come close. Come close. Come. Absolutely wonderful. I roasted this. Smell this. Smell this. Ooh. Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay. Now, you will smell really sweet, aromatic, strong and pungent. Now, the pungent is in a positive way, right? It just smells absolutely wonderful. And these are the things that make coffee uh, valuable. It's called volatile aromatics. Yeah. So, it's freshly roasted freshly brewed to give you a really great cup. Now, if you feel this, feel it, feel it with gen gently with your fingers, feel it, it will feel really soft. Oh, yeah. Now, because it is grind so fine, and it's in this little basket of 58 mm, now, remember I told you there's nine bars of pressure? Now, nine bars of pressure is about 135 pounds going through this diameter of 55 mm, right? It will cut through it like butter. So what you need to do is to really pack it. We want water to really penetrate every single coffee particle there, right? But if it's not packed, it would run to the path of least resistance and not extract any coffee. So to do that, I have a little tool called a tamper. This is just a tamper and all it does is go straight down, in, right? Two times, in, again, and done. Give it a light polish, lift it up, feel this, all right? Now it's hard right so now water doesn't have an opportunity to go anywhere else so now it has to penetrate every single particle extracting the beautiful volatile aromatics and the, the things that are dissolvable to give you a nice little cup of coffee now first thing you want to do before i insert this before i insert this water filter back to the group head i need to bless my coffee now how do i bless my coffee Bless my coffee. <laughs> right? No, to, to bless it, I have four movements. One, two, three, and four. To do that, the reason is, one, I get rid of all the grounds here. I get rid of all the grounds on the flanges, on the handle, right? So that it doesn't go into your cup. And finally, the last strips. This is important because I want to make sure that it does not contaminate anything in your next cup. All right? Then, I give it a light... <laughs> A flush <laughs> to make sure that there's no residue from the last group head, right? And I will lock it in and begin extraction immediately. Now, I'm using a measurement glass called a shot glass because I want you to see the beautiful espresso that comes out, right? Look at that gorgeous looking flow, right? This gorgeous looking honey like is called the rat's tail, better known as Copa di Topo. Copa di Topo in Italian is called a rat's tail. Now I want you to notice 
something that's happening right now called the Guinness Stump effect. You ever see a pure Guinness Stump coming out from a from a drop, right? This Guinness Stump effect is the only thing that tells you that the coffee is fresh. Right? You will see it happening right now. Notice the layering, the three layers right now, and that kind of floating up. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Would you like to try? Alright. So in order to try espresso, one of the main things that is very important is to make sure that there are that there is a stir. Now, how do you stir an espresso? You never stir it clockwise or anti-clockwise. Why? Because the crema that's on top would remain on top. What we want to do is to push it down, push it down, push it down. So you push it down three times. One, two, three. Right? One, two, three. Right? And then you sip. Alright? So you can sip. Now, you, in case you want to put your spoons here, you can put your spoons here. Oh, that's quite strong. It's very strong. Why? Because a cup of espresso has 9 to 11% of dissolved solids of coffee in it. Whereas a normal brew cup of coffee only has 2%. So you're drinking, in actual fact, a lot more coffee than you would normally do in a brewed cup of coffee. A brewed cup of coffee only has 2%. Right. Now, the funny thing is, this has, in any brew on earth, in terms of coffee, the espresso has the least amount of caffeine. Okay. Mm. That's good. So compared to a Coca-Cola, it only has one third of the caffeine. So if you're able to drink Coca-Cola and still sleep, you're drinking three espressos, by the way. So it's just coffee and none of the caffeine, as much as you would in a, say, an instant coffee or, or probably even a brewed cup of coffee.